happy Tuesday everybody I hope you are doing well um, first off most importantly you know we had our dime event last week and I need everybody to see this if you have not seen it on the website that was our winning entry with the free design that was Colleen Bessie um, she took the free design from our dime event and made it into a card. She loves to do cards. So that was our winning entry. Thank you to everybody who participated. Everyone who came to the dime event came to it, meaning in your um, home studio. Um, that you um, hope you had a good time, learn some of the new things, the new software, the new program, the new, um, if you've got the Dime software that works with um, cutting, we're going to try to put some things together. When I say that, it's always me coming up with ideas. So I've had some requests for t-shirts, decorating t-shirts. So if that's something that would be of interest to you, uh, let us know. Um, if there was something in particular you learned in from Dime or that you purchased from them and now would like to say, hey, let's do something with it. I am looking for some um, ideas uh, for the uh, next quarter. Okay, we pretty well have things going on for right now, but you know, in, in the next quarter, we're looking for some new, um, new things sat on a meeting this morning with R&K to see some of their new quilting stuff. Um, they are coming back with the big 630 by 60 cutting mat. Um, something that they showed me, you know, they have the rulers that have the coating on the back, is that you can use those to flip your designs when you're cutting them on those mats. So I'm going to test that out and then I'll be able to uh, demo it. So if you've got a you know question or comment you want to post in there, I can see that I'm live. I don't want a voice because let's... There we go. Yay! I can see things. Good morning to everyone. Um, yeah, Colleen, she loves cards and she does some of the cutest things with cards. So what are you working on today? You know, give us a little post and um, tell us or picture and tag us. You can always um, tag uh, So Happy 2016. And if you don't know what that stands for, 2016 is when we um, bought the business and took it over, Mo have moved it a couple times, have made some oh changes and rearranges and always something new and exciting. And I'm always out there looking for new things, more things to be able to share with you. And if you see on my wall behind me, it looks a little bit busy. I've got two machines sitting there. We've got the, um, the quilt on the wall. I've got the, you know, the thread and the thread racks from R and K and all the stabilizers. And, uh, if you see behind the machine, the little hooks back there, those are bags and things that we've, um, put together. So before I forget, I've got a couple things to share with you. Um, I saw somebody posted out somewhere out because I, I watched some of the websites and um, they didn't know how to change the time on their machine for daylight savings time. You know, whenever time changes, yes, I know that was Saturday. Um, but yeah, our watches, you know, if you've got um, Apple and Garmin and those type of watches, they automatically change. Our phones change. Um, anything that's hooked to the internet automatically changes. In our house, the only thing we have to change is my favorite, my cuckoo clock, and the clock on the microwave and the stove, and of course the, um, the machines. But most of us, the machines don't change. So it's really, really easy um, to go in and on most of your machines. Now, I don't know about some of the older ones. You may have to look a little bit, but um, if you've got the touch screen, I'm just going to show you really quick back here on the Solaris. Uh, you can check it there, but there's another place and it's easy to do. So on my, the Solaris, if you've got those with the touch screen down at the bottom, if you have the time that shows up, if you just touch it, it brings you right to the screen. And then you just plus or minus whether you want a 24 hour clock or a regular clock. Easy peasy. If you don't have that, you have 
the little piece of paper and you might have to get to it a different way on your machine tape tape um, but the piece of paper and then you'll have multiple pages down here and you just scroll through till you get to the one that says the time okay so on this one since mine's so easy down there I'm not for sure where it's at but you're just going to scroll through all of these different um, places okay and you know these screens will also tell you what if you've got the latest version of the software because you know when um, baby lock and brother come out and some of the others maybe too again I'm not as familiar but when they come out with updates updates are free upgrades you pay for you can check here and see what the latest version is again you probably can't see it on um, my screen there but you can go through and, and see that then you've got some other things you can change names of your your machine you've also got a network reset if something happens you have to reset it um, and there's just lots of different things that you can go through you can change the units of measure if you want um, meters or um, inches that's something that you change in there you can change your brands of color thread I always recommend that you use just name um, name of color because most of us use different types you know different threads and because of that if it's color if it's red it's red if it's green it's green you know you don't have to look for a specific number just to me it just makes life easier then you know you've got um, your embroidery frame you can change your grids if you want the um, if you're trying to get things lined up the more perfect the smaller the grid so 3 8 or you can do the one inch you can change your machine speeds you do have tensions and foot height now I'm going to show you on this um, one little project you might have to change your foot height okay you might have to I didn't but you know sometimes if you're stitching something or embroidering really really thick you may have to change that um, then there's you know lots of other special features here again if you've got upgrade kits I have one two and three on this machine to make it um, even though it was I think a Solaris 2 it's this it's been upgraded to a three I can see all of my kits I can see my stitch count the versions you know all of these different things now I know uh, pointers you know, all this stuff so something else and I know a lot of times we forget and I know there's somebody out there that I have seen me show this before and they're gonna say oh man I forgot about it on your machines and I know even the smaller baby lock and brothers they have the little film strip at the top okay so if we're in just whoops it's gonna go back we're just in sewing okay we're just gonna sew if you go to the film strip it now gives you you know the um, Lumineer and Solaris your manuals on here all of the upgrades you know all of the the manuals are here and they are searchable you can type in a search word and it will search the document when you're looking for something but one of the things that I think that's kind of, that I like is the sewing guide we have so many things built into our machines the sewing guide brings up a screen and I don't know we will try to go in a little bit closer without turning everything off ah there we go down and whoops there we go over there I think you can see that better okay so it brings up a sewing guide that shows two pieces of clothing and then there's words all over it zipper you have a question on how to put in a zipper bar tack flat fell seams dart my one of my go-to is if I'm doing a a blind hem stitch because I just don't do it that often I'll pull this up and touch on the blind hem and right here it pops up and gives me two different stitches one for my woven fabrics and one for um, well it says other fabric other in this case is everything but stretch because you've got a stretch stitch and an other one and you know it's got some settings down here right up here at the top it tells me what stitch to use and what foot 
for the blind hem stitches. So if I'm doing one on other and I touch this, now it's going to show me how to fold the fabric. And that's the part when I don't do it very often that I forget. So it's just an easy way for me to go in and watch this and I, there's four pages. I can just page through and it shows me which foot exactly how to set it up and how to do it and how it's going to look. So guys, this can be a plethora of, that's my word of the day, of you know, opportunities for you to find things on your machine to be able to do. Okay, so I wanted to share that with you. Now, hopefully this is going to make things too crazy when I come back. Tilt. And if I push the wrong button, oop, going the wrong way. Sorry. There we go. Okay. So that's my, my little, um, wanted to share that with you. Now, a couple other things. I know a few of you have asked about the big 60, 30 by 60 um, cutting mats. They are coming back in stock from um, R&K, so I'm going to be getting one. I know I need one. If anybody's interested in that, let us know, and we can talk about um, getting it for you. This week on classes, we have um, the Navigator this afternoon. Oh, fun. Some teeny-weeny little tiny pieces we're going to be putting in that quilt, and it's all going to be done in the hoop, so we're working on that class. Um, there is a master class with um, Hoop Sisters. We've got that out on our website if you want to take a look at the product or the project. Um, tomorrow is our Stitcher's Garden and our mini quilt is on Friday. And this is why I want to share this one with you. Um, if you've done the mini quilts and you've got yours done, great. Um, if you're waiting for class, it's a good idea. I've got some tips and hints for you. But on this particular one and with um, Kimber Bell's quilts this time, the little mini quilts. We do have a new season starting in July, June, July. You can go ahead and get registered for that subscription. The subscription comes with all the, the fabrics for the top, the binding back, and a piece of batting for in the middle. And if you look and say, oh, that doesn't take much fabric, count them. There are 17 different fabrics in this project. This particular one, we're going to be making freestanding flowers and I'll show you how to sew them on with the machine. Yes, with the machine. But if you notice, these are dimensional, three dimension. Um, the bunnies here on the bottom, we have leather and fabric and um, fluff. Those are all sewn or applique on the outside. So we're combining the quilting, the applique. These guys are all applique in the middle with the windows of course our borders and just a lot there are a lot of different techniques in this one little project techniques that oh my gosh as I'm sewing I'm thinking huh if I change the shape I could put something else in there and you have those capabilities with your um, IQ my design center or any of your embroidery software programs that you could take this design and be creative and change it into some other things so I wanted to make sure I showed that to you. Um, again, we will be offering that subscription uh, next time. Um, you have to buy the CD with the book, then get signed up for the subscription. There will be an embellishment kit, which believe me, even as the instructor, the embellishment, embellishment kit is um, well worth it because do you want to buy a whole roll of leather? It's okay, I don't mind selling it to you for a little piece. So on this one, you would need the leather, you would need the water-soluble stabilizer, you need the, um, the fluffy stuff. You know, there's a whole bunch of different things that if you get the kits, the embellishment kits, you get that stuff in. All right, now. This is our new Kimberbell event coming, Day at the Spa, and whether you're a spa person or not, this is, um, this is coming up quickly, so if you're interested, please get registered so we make sure we have a spot for you. I hate to have um, it sold out, and then you know after we've ordered everything, people start saying, hey, I want to get into it, and I have to say I'm sorry. Um, 
I, I, I don't like to do that, but I can't have, you know, I, I order too many. This project includes one of the new, we're going to be learning how to make a ball. If you've never made a ball, well, you're going to be able, you're going to learn um, the techniques, Kimberbell techniques in making this really, really cool ball. You're going to have the little embellishments to finish it off. Um, all of those kind of things, everything except your stabilizer is inside, including your flex, um, not the flex foam, but the, the um, stiffer stuff that's going to be in there. You're going to have a washcloth that you can cut, you'll cut down, and we're going to be making this cute little, um, all things are possible with good soap, and you can make it as a match set, perfect timing for graduation, for a birthday, or for Mother's Day. Even if you have to make it for yourself. I can kind of see this sitting in my bathroom. Nice scented soaps. Ugh. We have one of the best places that we get soaps here down on, in Tarpon um, on the sponge docks down at Lori's. We get some of the best smelling soaps. Then a zipper pouch. Yeah, well, I've made a zipper pouch. Well, this is not just any zipper pouch. This one is, you know, it's all finished inside. It is um, quilted, so you're going to get the quilting. I believe there's some bonus quilting, embroidery um, background quilting on your um, day at the spa stick. So this is quilted. If you see blue, that's my little uh, mark lines. We're going to be putting the little ruffle lace, the extra trim, all of that. So you're going to be making these three items day at the spa. Spend one day having a good time with your friends learning how to make the, the bowl. And then there is, of course, their bonus. Here's one of the bonus. Um, I've got this one made. It says, you're the zest. Another bowl with the handles and um, two um, stripes of fabric. This is one of the designs off the bonus. So you know how you get your bonus by spending $100 in product during the event you qualify and you get the free bonus um, USB with designs on it. Uh, there's, I think there's six, there's usually six. Um, three that you can make into bowls, or you know you can make this matching. You're the zest, make a bowl, and then take that same design and embroider it on the bottom of a towel. We sell toweling by the roll. You can buy it by the yard, a yard and a half. Ugh, I think I got puppy fuzz. A yard and a half will make um, two towels. So you can make towels. Put your favorite recipe or, you know, lots of little things. Then here it says, whenever life plant, where, wherever life plants, you bloom with grace. So I stitched this out. This is on one of the um, blank pouches. One of the older, not older, it's, you know, previous season, but the amethyst. So, you know, I used it again inside, is all finished off, makes a great, you know, great for whatever you want to use it for and stick it in your, um, you know, your bag or um, whatever. And stitched it out and, in, and also did the background quilting something different. So those are new tips, new techniques, new things that we're doing. Hope to see you guys get signed up. Um, if there is something I know that um, Hoop Sisters has a new um, two bags coming out. I think it's in April, and I'm working with them to be able to put together a class or an event. Um, one looks like Sashiko, has Sashiko designs. There's two different styles. So we're always busy. We're uh, looking for new things and always watching to see you know your suggestions, if there's things that you would like to learn and like to be able to take in a class. So. Make it a great afternoon. Go sew something and let us know what you're working on. We will see you next time.